What's going on guys? Alex here with one for EDC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the American Blade Works Model 1 Warncliffe. So I've had this in for between two or three months uh, and my full review on it is long overdue. Um, it was one of the knives that I just kept kind of pushing off doing um, until I felt better, uh, you know, kind of a whole spiel from the other day. Um, but, you know, I, I really am in love with this knife. I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, this was sent to me from Michael over at American Blade Works um, for review. So Michael, if you were watching this, thank you, man. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I've really enjoyed having this knife in um, and it's, you know, it's always gonna have a place in my collection. Um, just a beautiful piece of American knife work, um, you know, and I think, you know, this probably is to me the one of, if not the best value, it's one of the best values um, in the knife game when you're talking about what you're getting for the price um, and considering everything is made here in the United States in a small, you know, one man shop, basically. Um, I will leave a link to American Blade Works down below if you guys are interested. Um, I apologize, my computer's plugged in right now and I, I getting all the stretch I can out of the charger. So I'm just checking to see if there's any um, Model 1 Warncliffe's in stock. It looks like they're, at the time of this, there is not any in stock, um, but again, I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys are interested in, you know, going to his website, seeing what else he has to offer. Um, he does sell them at other retailers. I know Rivers Edge Cutlery, I believe, has some, and um, Naf Sale and some other, you know, other places have sold these before. But I believe he he makes a bunch, and then he has some for his website, and he also sends some out to retailers, from from my understanding. Um, but again, he did send this to me for full review, so I'm going to be fully transparent. But I truly don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, you know, it's it's just a really well-made knife. And this is the third American Blade Works model, um, model one and model two knife that I've handled. So the first one, um, John over at Grateful Panic sent to me probably a couple years ago. Um, it was the original model one, probably V, I think it was a V4, V5. Um, I really liked that knife. It had the just drop point. And then a couple, uh, earlier this year at some point, I had the uh, the new model two in, which is the titanium um, Magna Cut Warncliffe. Uh, well, it's it's sheep's foot Warncliffe style blade. Um, really like that knife. Uh, so when I saw that they had, um, or Michael was making the Model 1 Warncliffe's, so it, it was, you know, I've said this on both my videos before, probably my unboxing and my full review of the uh, Model 2. I like the Model 2, but from an er ergonomic standpoint and from an aesthetic standpoint, I just like the Model 1 body better with the Warncliffe. So if, you know, to me, this was like the ultimate model. Um, so I reached out to Michael, you know, just asking if I could review for, or um, if he could send me one full review, you know, basically a loaner, and he was super grateful um, and um, super, you know, gracious and super generous is what, what I'm looking for. Sorry, it took me three times to, uh, to land on that specific word. But he was super generous, and he's like, yo, I'll just send you one to check out. You know, I don't mind it, like, you know, getting more content out for you and stuff like that for me, for you, for everybody. Um, so I ended up with this one, and obviously, we're gonna jump right in materials. Uh, I don't wanna talk your guys' ear off too much, but these are rocking some beautiful um, Tiffany G10 scales. Um, so the Tiffany is a kind of first for me and my collection, and I just got in around the same time, which I need to do a full review of as well, the Best Techman Good Boy, which is rocking some Tiffany-like scales. So it's kind of cool I have both of these in the in the collection at once. Um, nice pop of color, because most of my stuff is brown, gray, um, you know, green, black just real drab colors so blue is a definite nice again pop of color comes with a mill titanium pot clip that is lefty and righty carry which is very nice um, right there is the american blade works logo on the pivot which i love um, and then over here it says made in the usa on the other pivot of course it's a warncliffe in magna cut which is nice nice sterile blade over there it is a liner lock with plenty of lock bar access you have a choil you have a flipper tab as a main way of deploying this knife. Um, nice titanium backspacer. Um, just a really well-made knife, well you know, put together on ceramic bearings. Um, has a good snappy detent. Um, yeah, so that's really all for materials. Now for specific models, you can get this in, I think, Micarta versions and G10 versions and Altum versions, which have been very, very popular. Um, I'm waiting for him to make a Model 1 um, Warney in titanium. I think that's like the ultimate model. Um, I would definitely consider picking one of those up just to have in the collection just because, you know, it's titanium. Why not? I think this that would be a killer model for this um, or killer variant of this. But uh, yeah, so we're going to move on next to action. 
And again, it's a very snappy detent. Um, I prefer push button, just fires right out of there. Push button just works for me best on all flipper knives, um, not just this specific one. You can light switch it, but I just, I, I don't really like the idea of like starting up here and like pulling your finger back. I like just kind of landing on top, building, oh, that was my fault, building that pressure and just popping it right out. Uh, I mean, you can, you, you can fail it, but it's, you know, as long as you're just, you're not trying to, if you pull the knife out of your pocket, whack it open it's going to open every you know pretty much every single time uh, but you know nice snappy detent right there i will give you guys some specs i guess i, I kind of forgot about that that's my my apologies um let's let's wait for this my computer is being a little bit slow because i am trying to uh have a couple videos pondering or pondering processing in the back um, so my computer has been a little bit slow. All right, here we go. So yeah, so 3.25 inch blade, which is right on my sweet spot. Um, I really like blades anywhere from three point, you know, three inches to 3.335 inches, give or take. Um, and it's 4.65 inches close. Uh, liners are 14, 17, four peach stainless with a stainless backspacer. Oh, so this is a stainless backspacer, excuse me. Um, but the pot clip is titanium. Um, light stone wash, the blade is CNC milled, um, you know, pretty much all that that I just said. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of backtracked a little bit there. I apologize about that. But um, detent is nicely tuned. That's what I, the ceramic detent and ceramic, you know, detent balls and uh, ceramic bearings made me think of it. So nice, you guys can hear it kind of snapping back in a little bit, but good flipper tab. And the nice thing about this is you have so much blade exposed right here, you can middle finger plug it. So I love when knives kind of have that like hidden ability almost when you are, you know, thinking it's only a flipper only knife, but really you can just, you know, kind of thwack it out with your middle finger. Um, you might be able to thump like it. You can definitely thump like it. It feels a little bit weird, um, but it actually fires right out of there. So you kind of have three ways of pulling this knife, which is nice. Um, middle finger works really well. I definitely like that. Nice locked up tight. I did have to lock tight this once, um, but you know, it's has no blade play at all and you're getting very good action. Now with the liner lock, like I said earlier, you have a lot of lock bar access, which is always appreciated. I hate when knives are, you know, just a bitch to get into. You get to like rip up your thumb, but drops down. A few micro shakes, drops down. Sometimes it'll swing shut if the flipper tab goes past your uh, thumb, but a lot of times it drops, hits your thumb, couple shakes or it drops hit your thumb in one um you know is it is it the most fidgety knife in the world no but it's very very smooth or not fidgety knife it's seriously it's, it's the most drop shut knife in the world no but it's very very smooth it's very you know kind of glassy feeling um and you can just really get those micro shakes in there and i really really sometimes like that about these types of knives um so you know no complaints at all from the action it's very nice very snappy middle finger flick it thumb flick it and of course flipper flick it um so next we're going to move on to ergos the ergos on this knife are very very comfortable of course you have this silver tab right here which kind of provides doesn't kind of definitely does provide a nice natural restriction point you also have this nice generous choil up here um, but choked back i can get all four fingers on this knife very easily you have a nice dip down here um, pretty much straight across it does taper and sort of swell a little bit right here but then it tapers off here it swells and then tapers down towards the middle, gets kind of skinny. But all four fingers on the knife, all four fingers on the knife very easily, very comfortably. The apocalypse sits very flush to the scales, um, which is you know providing basically a zero in the hot spot area. It's very, very comfortable. Um, you have jimping up top here. The stainless steel backspacer provides a little bit of jimping. If you grip it, you know, get it shoved in your, your palm, it provides gripping as well. Um, but the real, you know, real sort of ergo special area for me is you choke up. So middle finger goes right into this nice natural restriction point. Two fingers follow suit. Pointer finger wraps around. Thumb lands out here in the middle of the blade. And this, you can do some really good push cuts. Um, you know, if you have great control around something or if you need great control around something you're cutting through, this provides it. Pinch grip works wonderfully. Point, uh, excuse me, point, or excuse me, middle finger, thumb here. Pointer finger lands up here if you have to drop down through Amazon packages, through envelopes, around things. Um, I love pinch grips and specifically pinch grips with Warcliffe blades. 
just because they're so usable, so utilitarian. Uh, you have a lot of you know straight blade to work with, a nice tip that just drops down and does its thing. Um, yeah, just really, you know, no complaints at all. The G10 is nicely done. It has a, you know, it's not really aggressive grip um, or, or, or grip, excuse me, on the G10. Um, liners are nested, so that's very nice. Kind of makes it feel more premium. Uh, yeah, so no complaints at all. The Ergos is very, very comfortable for what it is. And uh, next we're going to talk about carry. It carries very well. Drops down in your pocket. It did say... I don't know if there's a weight on here or not. All right, so he doesn't have a weight listed, but it's, it's not very heavy at all. G10 is a pretty lightweight material, um, and it's not a huge knife. So it drops down in your pocket. You do have the backspace right here, which has a little bit of, you know, jimping on it, but it's really just more so for looks. It's not, I don't want to say that because I did talk about it earlier in the, you know, when you're gripping it, you can definitely feel it a little bit. But I should say it's not very aggressive. You're not going to like, you know, hit this and pull this knife out of your pocket, but it does have a flipper tab um, with a little bit of jimping. But again, the jimping is not not nearly very aggressive at all. Um, so it drops down, hand down your pocket. So you do have a little bit of risk of maybe pulling it out if you're going down for chains, uh, chapstick, you know, medicine, something like that. But all things considered, when it comes to jimping on a flipper tab, this is very, very basic, um, not aggressive at all. You have pretty much no risk of pulling it up out, but I just like to, you know, kind of present that to you guys just in case, because, you know, weirder things have happened before. Um, but you can carry it lefty or righty, which is very nice. Uh, there's no um, filler tab, but the pot clip does not sit very deep into it. So it's, you know, pretty flush. You can definitely feel the screws more so than the actual like edges around it, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it's, you know, for, for being a, a mid-sized knife, carries well. Pot clip does its job. You know, you have some, you know, not like the strongest retention, but it's a longer clip. So it works well, sits down in the pocket. Uh, you do have about that much sticking up out, which is, you know, it's uh, what a, what a deep carry clip work better in my opinion on here. Absolutely. But I just like those better, but from an aesthetic standpoint, I think it looks really, really good. And, uh, the fact you can do it left to your righty, which is, you know, also very, very nice as well. So that leads me to my final category of price point and would I recommend this knife. Guys, price point on these is $199. So I can absolutely recommend this knife. I think it's worth every single penny. Um, like I said earlier, I, if it's not the best deal, it has to be one of the best deals for the money. For you know, base, Every knife is made 100% in the USA. He literally says it all here. Um, at the end of the description, it says, the knife and materials used are all 100% American made. I don't know where you can get a 100% American made knife for sub $200. I really don't. Um, I, I just think it's a fantastic deal um, in, in the Micarta. So you can get, according to his website, you can get Black G10, Jade G10, Slate G10, Altum, Black Canvas Micarta, Brown Canvas Micarta, OD Green Canvas Micarta, and he does have a Titanium one listed. I have not seen anyone have those yet. Um, now the Titanium one is $200, but again, it's Titanium. So we're going to compare just the... Um, so all the G10s are 199. The Altum is also 199, and the Micarta is also 199. Uh, so I, you know, for the price, you just cannot cannot beat that. You're getting Magna Cut. You're getting, you know, every single part of this knife is made by Michael, or either made in the USA or made by Michael and put together by Michael. Um, you know, Magna Cut blade, G10 scales. Liner lock, nice snappy detent, multiple deployment methods with the flipper tab, with the thumb flick, and with the middle finger flick. You know, good, smooth action, great carry, just a, an awesome blade shape all around. I think just Warren Cliffs are just gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic, whatever you want to call them. One of my favorite blade shapes. Um, you know, good pot clip, carries well, good Argo. It's just all around a, a fantastic EDC knife. When you're looking at, you know, at EDC knives, I don't think you can really get much better than this when it's just, you know, it's just that good, guys. And for $200, I'm going to go on a limb and say it is the best deal. I don't think you can get anything better than this. USA made. And again, it's being made in a small one-man shop by Michael. Um, you know, the communication I've had with him, he's a very nice guy. He's very open to message on Instagram. Um, I've had a few conversations with him. And he's, he's very down-to-earth, very, you know, responsive. And it's basically just him and his wife. From my understanding, his wife retired and then kind of started helping him with like the business side of things but he's making these either at his basement or his garage I forget which one um 
and it's just him. So it's a one-man shop that is making very, very high-quality knives for uh, very, very fair prices. And I think that, you know, everyone should have an American Blade Works in their collection. Um, just, you know, principle alone, $200 for a USA-made knife with really good material. It's not even like he's using, like, AEBL or, you know, sort of those lower steels that a lot of, like, custom makers use. No, guys, he's using Magna Cut. He's using Titanium. He's using Micarta, Altum, G10, all kinds of materials. And I just, you know, I don't think you can get better than that. So I'm going to quit ranting and raving and, and, you know, yapping about. But hopefully you guys were able to, you know, fully understand my thoughts and opinions on this knife and how I feel about the price tag and how I think all you guys should get one. Um, like I said, in the future, I'm definitely going to try to snag a Titanium one just because I really... You know, I, I like this knife so much. I really want that high-end premium, you know, model of it. Uh, so in the future, hopefully I'm able to add one of those to the collection. But uh, leave a comment down below, guys. Have you guys ever handled a, an American made, I'm talking too fast now, an American Blade Works, either Model 1 or Model 2? And if you have, let me know what you think because I think they're really well made. I've had nothing but great things to say about Michael and his company and his products. And um, I can't wait to see what he has in the future and uh, comes out with next. Uh, model 3. Who knows what it's going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be a banger. So I'm going to wrap this up now, but thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.